Well, the White County Board of Supervisors again making no decision tonight on the future of their Confederate monument. Instead, they voted to appoint a task force to explore first where it could be moved or, context or contextualized it. And in your side's Brett Hall brings us the latest. For 115 years, it has stood tall outside the Isle of Wight County Courthouse complex. And it will stay there for now because after a public hearing where the Isle of Wight County Board of Supervisors didn't vote on the future of the Confederate monument in order to hear more voices, tonight they voted 4-1 to one to appoint a task force to study the future of the monument to again hear from more voices. We're not just the norm in 2020. We're not a superficial community. The goal of the group is to come up with recommendations for the monument. Supervisors want them to consider if there's a way to change the narrative around the monument where it currently sits or where it could possibly be moved to. Under current law, like every other community has, the county must also allow outside historic groups or museums to make proposals on what they would do with the monument if given the chance. However, a quick check across the region shows that people haven't really been lining up to take possession of these historic relics. Norfolk and Newport News both say they received no offers. Pasquotank County is still trying to figure out where to put theirs. And we didn't hear back from Portsmouth. A spokesperson with the city of Virginia Beach says two groups did submit proposals to take possession of the old monument that sat outside the old Princess Anne Courthouse. City staff is currently evaluating those proposals before bringing them to council. Now back in Isle of Wight County, people on both sides of the issue have already been weighing in saying the board just kicked the can down the road. That report from the task force, due back December 1st. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.